This ape said we are in a recession. The banks owe trillions of dollars in option contracts and short sold not owning yet. But they are sold giving a cut to the government stock. AMC is a hedge against the crime, manipulation, fraud, and money laundering. However, these Wall Street scumbags own the media. And that's why everything that we see across the media is what it is. The whole financial system is broken. Thanks again for the banks. But thanks again to the banks, hedge funds, and others. This ape Stephanie has an awesome post. This is good morning, Namesy family. The battle we are in is much larger than the crime on Wall Street. As I look around, I feel hopeful because more and more people I see are waking up and joining the fight. Darkness cannot operate in light. Our voices are very dangerous. That's why they spend so much time and money trying to take away our speech. Stay strong, apes, just like you've been doing. Comment down below if you're still holding. This ape says, I believe that you should be able to buy stock of a business you believe in and hold. Own as much of it as you want without somebody manipulating it. And I think that's what some of the people get wrong when they sort of rag against the apes. They think that we're crazy and that we're asking for a lot. We're really not asking for much. We're asking to be able to buy into a company that we believe in and for others to not tell us or try to force us to not do so. And on top of that, all we want is a fair and free open market. This just in guys, 10 different firms with widespread record keeping failures the SEC is charging them. So here's the entire list right here. But for example, Interactive Brokers agrees to pay $35 million and different firms are also agreeing to pay a massive, massive penalty. Now, the problem is that these fines are massive to you and I, but for some of these corporations, these fines are just a drop in the bucket, which is what a lot of the apes are concerned about. This is an oldie, but still a goodie. It says, this is why we need to hold till it's 500K per share each. Don't get mad, get even. And then it's a simple tweet, but a crazy reminder of what's actually going on here. It says, banks collected $12.4 billion in overdraft fees back in 2020. That means that banks took over $12 billion from people with no money in the form of fees during a global lockdown. Now, all I can say about this is it really puts everything into perspective now, doesn't it? This is very important, apes. Look at this. It says AMC, according to the street, AMC and Adam Aaron has lost the support of the apes. True or false? So right now, 4,149 votes, which is a pretty decent amount, honestly. Out of all those votes, 82.5% still say I support AMC and Adam Aaron. And 175 say that they don't. Now, this is honestly kind of surprising to me. With all the FUD and everything that I've been seeing online as of recently, I would have guessed that it would probably be like 70-30, but it's really cool to see that the majority... More than the majority, honestly. Support Adam Aaron and AMC. But I want to hear from you guys down below. Comment yes or no. Do you still support Adam Aaron and AMC? Comment yes. Or if you do not support, no problem. Just comment down below. No. Short sellers don't understand. If I were going to sell my AMC position, I'm at the point where I would be in a huge depression. It's zero or win for me and millions of others. I don't let opportunity get away. We truly love a stock. Now, this state makes a good point, and to be honest with you, a lot of us that got into AMC originally are down so much on our shares that at this point, just like this ape says, it's pretty much zero or hero, nothing in between. And a lot of the posts that I've been seeing in the overall AMC sediment in the ape community is pretty much the same. So my final question is, when are the short sellers going to understand? This is insane. It says, SEC Chair Gary Gensler has said that AI's ability to generate deepfake content that easily fools humans poises a genuine threat to the financial markets per Bloomberg. And this ape said it perfectly. I think a bigger threat to the financial markets is the lack of transparency. Bingo. Nefarious shorts, yes. Naked shorting, spoofing, and things like removing buy buttons, etc. Should we go on? Comment down below, apes. Other things that Gary Gensler should be more concerned about than AI. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC stock DD and information you need.